Assalamu alaikum. Should we stay together in a marriage that has broken down simply because we have children? So for the sake of our children, we're going to stick together. Well, that's a very good question. There are pros and cons. Let's look at the pros. People think that perhaps if we stay together, the children will have both parents, father and mother. And so it's going to be better for them and their upbringing. Well, if you cared for the children so much, you would solve your problems. You would become a better person. You both would become better people. You would look at what the issue was and resolve it. Because what is the point of staying together for the children when every day those children are going to see mother and father yelling at each other, swearing each other. There is no love there, no respect there. The worst words, abusive relationship and the relationship that is not ideal at all, very far from ideal in fact. So what happens is the circle continues and the cycle actually continues. That child is going to grow up and perhaps one day marry and think that the way my mom and dad treated each other is how I should be with my spouse. And so they begin once again. And then the next couple stay together because of the children. And the following couple stay together because of the children. So if you notice, I've never come across a narration of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or uh, any verse of the Quran that says, you should stay together because of the children. If the marriage has broken down beyond repair, if you've tried everything, and I'm not encouraging people to just divorce, but you have to try and resolve problems when you have them. You have to learn to forgive. You have to learn to give a chance or two to people. But there does come a point when it becomes unbearable. In that particular case, it may be in the best interests of the children for you to separate so that the children can grow up with a beautiful, loving, caring upbringing in an environment that is filled with love, no swear words, no abuse, no hate, no crying every day, no tantrums and so on. So if we think about the children, we probably would separate because of the children. So in my opinion, there is no point in staying together because of the children when there is no common factor. You'd rather separate and inshallah, you need to have a big heart because when you do have children, don't deny them access to the other parent and the custody needs to be done fairly. And at the same time, we must participate in the lives of our children in a very constructive way. Remember when the children watch us and when they see us, they will replicate that. So many people have problems today because they don't know how to live. Their parents did never lived that exemplary life for them to be able to learn from. So many people struggle because the only thing they know is you get married, you got to scream at your spouse, you got to yell, you got to uh, sometimes be abusive, whether it's physically, emotionally or whatever other way it is. You've got to always be fighting about things. That's what they think marriage is all about. But if we were to separate we probably would, like Allah says in the Quran. If the two separate and divorce the spouses, Allah will provide for both of them with His virtue, His mercy, with the goodness that He has. And Allah says He is very broad, encompassing, in his wisdom and he is all wise at the same time and all encompassing in his virtue subhanallah so allah is promising that if you were to divorce it's not the end of the world he will provide for both for as long as you are respectful you know we didn't get along in marriage why should we allow each other to fight after the divorce has taken place we divorced because we wanted to stop fighting some people only start fighting after the divorce in, in a real sense, in the real sense. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and guide us. So the point I wanted to raise today is very important. Sometimes for the sake of the children, you have to separate in order to provide the children a better upbringing, in order to break the circle. There's a vicious cycle sometimes. And people for generations have been witnessing what their parents are doing and they do the same thing. And if what their parents were doing was wrong, 
you can imagine what they're replicating, they would actually perfect the art of oppression, hurt, and, uh, you know, uh, usurping the rights and abuse. So my brothers and sisters, you love your children, give your spouse a chance. Indeed, try to solve the matter, solve the problem, try again, inshallah, and the matter will be resolved because definitely it is best for children to have both parents. But when the relationship between the parents is toxic, when you've tried everything, when you've reached the end of the road, remember, don't just hang in there for the sake of the children. That is an excuse that is never in the Quran or the Sunnah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. And may we be those from among those who can provide goodness for our children and a good upbringing so that one day they can grow up into beautiful Muslim men and women who would be an asset to their families, their communities, and the globe at large. Jazakumullah khair. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.